Welcome to the Study Blue iPad Tutorial Part 2. This is the home screen, uh, my home screen on my iPad, and yours should have Study Blue down here towards the bottom right. So if you will tap on Study Blue, and this is your backpack. It will probably come up with this on your backpack. Now, your backpack is where all of your folders. Uh, when you make classes, all of your classes and all of your flashcards are going to be. The first thing I'd like for you to do is to go up to the top. You'll see New Folder. Tap on New Folder. And then here you're going to enter the name for your new folder. So you choose whatever name you want. I'm going to choose Test Folder. And then tap Save. So here we have our folder, a test folder. So tap on your test folder, but it's still empty. Well, it's empty because we don't have any cards made yet. So if you will look up in the top right, you will see New Cards. Tap on New Cards. All right, well, right now this is called Untitled Flashcards, and I'll show you here in a minute where you're able to change that. The first thing I want to show you is just making a um, usual term and definition. So if you will tap on the card where it says term and enter whatever term you would like to use. So my question, how are banana split and ice cream sundae alike? Now this is a depth of knowledge, a DOK level two, when you compare two objects, how they are alike or how they are different. So now if you will take and tap your finger on where it says definition or you can actually just kind of take and scroll it up and then you're able to enter your definition. So my definition, they are both made with ice cream and are yummy. And you could continue on with how else do you think they are like and have a discussion. Now, for your next card, sometimes you might see one down here. But if you don't, come right up here into the top left where you see the plus and the add a card, and it will make a new card. This time I'd like to show you how to enter a picture. So if you will touch the camera icon right here, now, for those of you that do not know how to save images um, to the camera roll, you might want to pause this recording right now and go over to the blog spot and find the tutorial on saving images from the web. And that way you can go ahead and get a couple of images saved. Or, for just right now for practice, you could actually use some of the existing images that might be in the iPads. So, go ahead and tap on the camera icon. Oh, don't you just love it when you uh, start running out of battery power. Now, I'm almost glad that this right here happened. Um, I went to to click on insert the photo and it came up so you could actually take a picture. So if you were to click on that you can see my hand here. But usually what happens is it allows you um, to enter a picture. So in this case what you need to do is just tap on the actual card again and it will go away and then tap again one more time on the camera and then now you can see down here towards the bottom you can see we could go back to the camera if you wanted to take any camera pictures any photos but this time we are going to go to the library and as you can tell I have <laughs> thousands of pictures um, let's go ahead and go on to the camera roll and I am going to use this picture right here how are they different now if you need to, you can move and scale. Sometimes the pictures are too large, and I will talk about that if you have a problem with your picture being too large in uh, the tutorial on saving images. 
but mine just the perfect size so let's uh, hit choose and there's your picture now you can also actually tap on the picture and when you do it pulls up either remove media if you don't like that picture or you could add text so if I were to add text now when you do that it makes the picture very small so that's the reason I had had found a picture that was able to uh, already have my text on there so if you want to get rid of and not do a term what you have to do is click on or tap on down there at the definition and it will normally take you back uh, I know it doesn't look like it but if you'll tap here on the keyboard again you see that if you don't have anything written in the term box it will actually disappear so let's type in a definition now so here is my answer one is larger and has a banana in it and then you can just bring up to discussion for what they think what else do you think let's do another card one that we're going to add text in this time here again you can either just slide it with your finger or tap on the next card if there's not one remember you can always go up to the top and uh, tap the plus so now you are going to tap the microphone and when you're ready to record you tap this button right here my recording is going to be just a little short narrative for a what happens next activity and this is in the DOK Depth of Knowledge 3. You and a friend are just coming in from recess and the wind starts blowing so hard and before you know it you're picked up and swept away. What do you think happens next? Once you listen to it, if you don't like it, you can go ahead and hit play. Of course, you can't hear it because I have my microphone in, my earphones in. But if you don't like it, you hit the stop and then you can just hit record all over again. Once you're done recording, you hit save. Sometimes this app things little things will happen if you don't see save or cancel just tap out and come back up and click again on the microphone and just re-record it so once you get your buttons back up then you can hit save and as you can see there is your recording now if you will tap on your recording in the box around your recording you can either remove it if you've changed your mind or you can add a text so if you want to add a text you tap add a text and here again just type in whatever term you would like or whatever thing you would like to say and if you don't want to just tap the keyboard button and you're out of it again so then you can come into your definition and now type a definition And what I've typed on mine is now is a great time to let the students partner up and decide what happens next. So you can actually just use the back side of the flashcard 
as notes for you to help you remember what kind of what you wanted to do in the class. So we've gone over how to type in a term, type in a definition, how to enter a picture, and then how to enter a recording. So up on the top left, you see the button done. Go ahead and tap on done. Here is where you're going to title your file name. I'm just going to entitle mine Test Flashcards. And your location will be Backpack. And then I am going to just tap down here on the keyboard. And you can decide if you want it public or private. I normally always choose public. That way other teachers in your building can go ahead and use them and uh, other teachers worldwide can use them. So if you will tap public and then up at the top left you will tap save. And there are your test flashcards who they are made by. Please just ignore this down here. My computer keeps pulling that up. Now you can go ahead and see what your flashcards are going to look like. Tap on flip cards and you have how are banana split and an ice cream sundae alike. So you can kind of see them and then you're able to flip it this way and if you got it right you can click on got it right. How are they different? Then you can, here again, touch the flip button, check to see, the student can check to see, and notice they're still able to see what's on the other side. And if they got it wrong, they tap there. Here you can listen to your recording. They can listen to your recording, tap flip, and determine. And notice down here on the bottom, you see how many they have right, how many they have wrong, and how many are unstudied. And this would be for older students, um, or actually your students could even do that. In, um, any age can do it, but they would need to have their own iPad, or they can do them on the computer. So once you reviewed them, come up here on the top left, and you can click Finish, or you could click Options. On options, you can decide if you want the term first or the definition first. And sometimes this comes in really handy if you want to have your pictures on the second part of the card, on the definition. So we can go back to resume. And then go back up to the top and hit finish. And then it will actually give data here and so um, for your older students if you want to if they are on an iPad uh, they can take a screenshot or if they and they can take a screenshot also on the computer and then be able to email those to you or raise their hand for you to be able to see them and click on done So that's how you go to the flip cards. Then you actually can also go to the review sheet. And on the review sheet, you're able to see all the cards that you have, the front and the back of the cards that you have. Let's tap finish. And this takes you back here again. If you want to continue editing to add more cards, it is um, this button right here on the top left. You can tap on it and it would take you right back so you could add additional cards. I'm going to tap done. And I love the fact that you can email them. So if you have, you see this arrow here, if you'll tap on that arrow, this way you can email them to yourself or you could email them to the parents, to your parents, so that way they could get online and practice with their student also. So I'm going to hit cancel for right now and I'll just delete my draft.
Now, if you decide that you want to do some alterations, maybe on your cards or to get rid of it, or you just want to double check the name of them or change the name, you can click on, let me go back one more time, the little I right here, the information, and you can change the name here. You can tap to move the location of it. Um, you can also remove the file here. So this is where you would just get rid of the entire file if you chose not to keep it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned a lot. It will stay up on my blog spot, a link for that, so you can always get to it and come back to it. Uh, you'll also will be able to see that um, I have some more tutorials, um, how to add classes, which you need to be on an actual uh, computer to be able to add classes to it. You can go in and search uh, the backpack and be able to uh, add new flashcards to your files. And if you want to go to any of those tutorials now, you may do that. Or just take time and make you up a set of flashcards that you can use tomorrow in class. Have a great day.